Hi my loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be another fragrance video, but this time I'm gonna talk about some fragrances in my collection that are a sweet take on fruity florals. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so I've got some fragrances here and you all know there's so many types of florals out there. You have fruity florals, warm florals, amber florals, gourmand florals, you know, the list goes on and on. The ones that I want to talk about are, in my opinion, a more sweet take on fruity florals. They're not necessarily a sweet, in-your-face, coyly sweet fragrance, but you are going to get some sweetness in them. So I'm going to talk about these and give you my opinion on them and let you know the longevity and where I think you could best wear it, things like that. And so I think I've done enough rambling. Let's get into the video. All right, so first up is Antigone by Stephanie DeBrand. And let me tell you all guys, this fragrance is so divine. If you love sweetie florals, you will absolutely love this one and the automizer on here is so nice. It's got a magnetic top, uh, a very sleek and simple design on the bottle. So immediately when I smell this, I do get the raspberry, which is really, really sweet. I get the Italian lemon and I do get the peach. It's really nice. Um, as it begins to develop, um, somewhere in the middle notes, you do get the floral scent, such as the rose and the lily of the valley. And I know rose can sometimes not be a favorite of a lot of people, but that's, um, it's sitting in the background. And I think lily of the valley is more front and center with this, but you're still getting a lot of the top notes. And this smells so good. And then when it dries down, you get your sandalwood, your cedar, and your vanilla. And this one is so nice. This one would be really good if you have, um, if you just want a mellow type of scent, this would be a good office scent. This is not going to be a very overpowering in your face scent. However, people will smell the softness of you and it's going to smell very inviting. This fragrance, in my opinion, would definitely be considered a crowd pleaser. And the longevity is real nice. The projection is very nice. But on the flip side, it's nothing, um, it's not the type of fragrance that is just going to knock you over the head. <laughs> It's a very soft and mellow. And again, this is Antigone by Stephanie DeBrand and it's very nice. If you haven't tried this, I would definitely say to check it out. So the next one that I have is This I Am Glorious by Casherelle. This bottle is so cute. I love the little lipstick uh, bottles. They're so cute and they look so cute on the vanity. Anyway, let me go ahead and spray this fragrance. So this is one that, let me go ahead and put the top on it. So this is one that is really, really sweet. You do get a lot of the sweetness, but you do get a lot of the floral notes in it. Immediately when you spray it, you're gonna get the peach and the mandarin orange. And as the fragrance dries down, you do get the frangopani, you get the tira flower and the mongolia flower. And all of those flowers are front and center while a lot of the peach and the mandarin orange kind of sit back you still smell it but more of the floral scents come through and this this fragrance is really nice I would say that this one would be a crowd pleaser this one is really good I think that this one would be really good for an office setting or a church setting or just somewhere where you don't want to just knock everybody over the head with your fragrance um, I wouldn't say that it is the most long-lasting or has the most projection without overspraying of course I feel like if you overspray anything you're gonna get that power that you want but you know let's say you get a small bottle like I have and you overspray, you're gonna go through your bottle really quickly. But this one is really nice. And if you like frangopani and terra flower and mangolia, um, all of those flowers mixed together are really nice. If those are, you know, some of the scents that you really gravitate to, you will really love this one. On the dry down with this one, I get more of like candy notes. I get a little bit of milk creamy notes 
um, if you will, so to speak, but it's a lot, um, it's more of a, a candy, sweetie-ish uh, type of smell, and you do get a little bit of sandalwood in it. It's a really nice fragrance and relatively cheap. I think that you can get this bottle for like $35 at Macy's or maybe even cheaper, but this one is really nice. And of course, this is the tiny bottle, but this is Yes I Am Glorious by Casherelle. All right, so the next sweet take on a fruity floral that I have is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. And I have to say that YouTube made me buy this one. Um, this little uh, bottle is definitely cute. I'm gonna take it out right now just for the sake of spraying it. And we're gonna spray this. Let me go ahead and put the top on it. So initially with this one, the first thing that I get is the raspberry and pear. The raspberry is more dominant in this one. Um, I can smell a little bit of the coconut, but not a lot. On this one, when it dries down, you do get the macaroons and you get a little bit of the musk, but for me, I feel as though the raspberry just kind of stays present throughout. This is another one that is, in my opinion, would be a crowd pleaser, uh, just because um, it's a simple, soft, uh, sweet floral fragrance. It's not overly sweet, it's not overly floral. It just gives you just enough, not too much. Again, something that's gonna be good for the office or church or work appropriate. And I do have to say, in order for it to have a lot of longevity, Longevity and projection to me you are going to have to overspray this uh, just if you want uh, the people around you to smell it and this is one that I'm happy I bought I actually found this one at TJ Maxx for like $20 I don't know if I would have paid the original price of like $45 or something like that for this but for $24, um, that's not bad. So next up I have Oh So Fresh by Marc Jacobs. And if you all know me, have been following me for a while, you all know that this is one, this is a ride or die uh, fragrance of mine. I love it. This has got to be, I don't know how many, the maybe the fourth or fifth bottle that I've had of this over the years, but this is a awesome, mm, take on a fruity floral um, has a bit of a fresh take as well to me um, really really nice this one is another one where you're going to get some raspberries and grapefruit can you all tell that I like the raspberry? Really, really nice. In the middle notes, you're gonna get like jasmine, your rose, your apple blossom, and your lychee. And lychee smells so good. If you all have never smelled lychee, um, just go the next time you're in a store, a fragrance store, and a fragrance has lychee in it or leads with lychee, definitely check it out. That is like a really nice scent to just have in your collection and just to be able to wear and experience. But this one is really, really nice. And of course, on the dry down, you get your plum and your musk. And plum is another one that's going to, you know, add more sweetness to the fragrance. But this one is really good. Now this one, the projection is really, really nice. And the longevity is nice. Now with the projection on this one, people are gonna smell you, but it's going, the type of reaction that you're gonna get from this type of fragrance is, Mmm, smells so good, like a pleasant, like not necessarily like, oh, that smells good. What do you want? But it's it it um it just evokes uh, feelings of smoothness, serenity, uh, just relaxation. Just picture yourself in the most relaxing place that you could be. You know, just chilling out somewhere cool fresh and clean and that is just what this fragrance reminds me of. It's really, really nice. This is another one that I think would be a crowd pleaser because of the notes. It's just a friendly fragrance. Very, very nice. If you haven't already, which you probably have, but if you haven't put your nose on this one, you've definitely got to put your nose on Oh So Fresh by Marc Jacobs. All right, next up I have Brown Sugar by Fresh and let me go ahead and spray this one. Mm. Now, you might be saying, well, Bridget, isn't that a gourmand uh, floral fragrance? Well, yeah, kind of, kind of, yes, no, no. 
but to me I just smell lots of sweetness and upon initial spray you get the red berries you get the lemon and you get the tangerine all of which are incredibly sweet fragrances the middle notes are where you're going to get your honeysuckle and your magnolia which are really really nice oh this oh, this fragrance smells so good next time you're in Sephora if you haven't smelled brown sugar you got to put your nose on it on the dry down you do get caramel and amber but you're still getting a lot of the sweetness very very sweet uh, this one would be kind of coyly sweet um, even though you do have some florals in there there's a little bit of peach in there sitting somewhere in the background she's there at the party but she's kind of shy but she's still there very very nice mm. but upon initial spray you get the lemon the red berries and the tangerine so divine guys so divine this one is another one i think would be a crowd pleaser even though it is on the coyly sweet side this would be more of a fun type of fragrance if you're going out with your friends or going out on a date or maybe meeting your meeting family members or whatever like that that is what i would wear this one to something uh some type of fun event is where i would wear this one um you're not going to get a lot of projection or longevity with this one unless you over spray and do other tricks to make your fragrance last longer but it is still worth a buy especially if you can catch it on sale next time you're in sephora definitely check this one out and the last one that i have is by prada and this is prada of candy florel and I wanted to add this one because it does have some sweetness in it from the limoncello and I'm gonna go ahead and spray it and tell you what I think about it and the atomizer on here is terrible so initially when I first spray this I feel as though um, I get a little bit of everything I do smell the limoncello of course the peony and once it dries down it becomes really rich and you get the honey and the caramel and the musk and the benzoin but it's still sweet but it's um, a little bit less sweet and more floral so it has a bit of a more floral take um, this fragrance let me tell you has longevity and projection people will smell you with this you don't necessarily have to over spray to get a lot i think that this type of i think that this type of um scent would be good uh, for more date night settings more um, going out settings or events where you want to have just a little bit of sweetness but more of a more subdued sexy uh, type of floral I guess that's how I would describe this one a, a soft sweet floral sexy seductive fragrance that is this and you don't need to over spray it just spray it on your pressure points and that's it go out on your date and just just be um just be a treat for whoever you're out with you will absolutely love this one this is old this has been around forever but i do think that this is a sweet take on a fruity floral not as much sweetness as the others but you do get some sweetness i like it and it's definitely worth a buy so that's it those are the fragrances in my collection that i want to talk about in this video that have a sweet take on a fruity floral fragrance let me know if you've tried any of these and if so let me know how you like them how they wear for you um, any tricks that you can do to make fragrances last longer let us know down in the comments would i love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches